to Virtual Sprouting STEM, powered by PNC's Grow Up Great. Today, let's wave to the ocean and discover the parts of a beach ecosystem, including the many creatures who make the seashore and the water their home. Get ready to dive in. Hey everybody, my name is Miss Alina and this is Miss Destiny. Today she is going to be my awesome science friend and she is going to help me explore this awesome beach ecosystem. So today we're going to be talking about the four things an animal needs. So do you see any animals, Miss Destiny? Yes, I see fish. You see fish? All right, so now we see this ecosystem in fact does have animals. What are the four things an animal needs? Food, uh -huh. water, uh -huh. shelter, and space. Very good. So, do we see what kind of things a fish would eat? What would an animal eat in this environment? Probably some animals would probably eat the fruits. They would eat the fruits, right? We have low-hanging fruits that come off the trees. You can have big fish that would come out of the water and eat it. Do you think birds would live here? They could probably live in the trees. They could, right? So what do you think the trees fall under? Well, would a tree be shelter or space? Shelter. Shelter, very good. Now shelter is where an animal lives. It keeps them protected from air, from predators, from the sky, from the rain. They can have their nest here. So do you think these animals could drink the water? No. No? Well, let me see. Let me see if I can drink this water. Ew, that's salt water. <laughs> how, I, how do animals get their water? The kid, they can't drink this. I don't think a bird can drink salt water. So animals in these salt water environments, they don't always have easy access to fresh water. Instead, they'll get their fresh water from the food they eat, like the fruits or even the little fish they eat. So these fish may eat some things, but there are other animals that also eat the fish. So fish can be considered food, right? So we have food, we have water, we have shelter, but what about space? What is space again? You don't know? You didn't talk about space. You're right, I messed up, I forgot to tell you. So space is basically all the area in which an animal lives. A better word for it is called territory. So do you know what territory is? Space. Territory is space, very good. Now, in more detail, space is essentially the territory in which an animal lives. Now an animal needs to get food, water, and shelter, right? But can they get all that from one spot or do they have to travel up and down? They have to travel up and down Very so they good. can find all the stuff they need. Exactly. So space is the territory in which an animal lives. That way they roam, they can have their nest, they can have their shelter. Our own space would be like our front yard, our backyard, and our house. That is our little territory and our neighbors have their own territory. Now do you think animals need a lot of territory? No. Well, would you like to live in your room your entire life? No. No? Can you get a lot of food and water and a shelter if you just stay in your room your entire life? No. No? And neither can animals here. That's why it's important they have a wide range of territory to travel between. All right, Destiny. So we talked about fish. We talked about birds. We talked about their cool, watery environment in the estuary. But what are some other creatures you might see out in here in the beach environment? Oh. You see any of your animals? Yes, I see crabs. Crabs? Oh yeah, you're right. They live right down there. Now crabs are an animal as well, and they need four things. What are those four things again? Food, mm -hmm. water, shelter, and space. Right? Space. Now, we see these crabs. Do you know what crabs like to eat? No. They eat things that are easy to get to. Crabs are great for cleaning up. Now, where do crabs live? What do you see crabs living? Wow. Well, what is I their shelter? Wow, there's these little holes here. Oh, you're right. Crabs live in little burrows, little holes they dig in the ground so they can get in and out and no predators can get to them. Now, do you think they need a whole lot of space? Yes. It looks like it, right? This whole expanse is like their cool little forest. All right, Desi, to finish this up, what do you think would eat the crab? The crab is considered food. Well, probably birds. Oh, birds, very good. You get birds, you get, even big fish will try to eat them. You get raccoons, opossums. The thing about these beach ecosystems is they have huge diversity of different plants and animals that live here. So everything has their own food, water, shelter, and territory. That's very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for helping me out today, Ms. Destiny. You have been an awesome science friend.
You're welcome. What did you learn today? Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time for Virtual Sprouting STEM. Powered by PNC's Grow Up Great. Special thanks to the Extra Catch, MOD's official sustainability partner.